In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass the Secure Your User's Identity unit part of the User Security Badge. Let's jump right into the hands-on challenge. It says, create a more secure environment by requiring multiple factors of authentication when users log in on your org. This challenge requires you to create a permission set and assign it to your user in your trailhead playground. It also requires you to know the password to one of your users and to sign in as that user and then sign out and I'll walk you through that all those steps. I've also added bookmarks so you could just jump to the part of this that you want. Okay to get started you're going to create a permission set named trailhead and that's pretty simple in the quick find you go to permission sets create new, call it Trailhead. And then the API name is automatically filled in and then enable multi-factor authentication for user interface logins. To do this, you're gonna go down to where it says system permissions, click edit, and then you're gonna look down here for multi-factor authentication for user interface logins and click save. And that's all set up. You're now gonna assign this permission set then you click manage assignments and then I've already added the assignment here um, to this user that I want to use. Super important that you know the password for this user so you could log in as them. If you don't, then you're going to have a tough time doing the next step, but I'll show you how to do that here. Set up multi-factor authentication for your org. This is pretty straightforward. From setup, you look at session settings and you make sure that multi-factor authentication is under high assurance, which it should be. If it's not, you just simply add it in there. Once that's done, you're done with all of those steps in terms of getting everything set up. Now comes the fun part of signing in as a different user. If you don't know the user's password, what you're going to do is you're going to type in users Go to your users, click on the user that you have provisioned to have multi-factor authentication and click, and click reset password. And then you're going to have an email sent to your email account. Oh, hold on a second. I don't want to do that there. I always like to do this in a um, in a private window. Just, I don't know if it actually makes a difference. I feel like it does. Enter the verification code you sent me. There we go. My password is dot, 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 dot. Although my real password is like dot, 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 dot. But you get the idea. Okay, so here I am, I'm now signed in as this user, but I did that as part of the resetting. I'm going to log into the as your user to register for multi-factor authentication. I'm going to log out with all of my dots. And now I'm gonna connect Salesforce Authenticator. Click add new account. It's gonna show you like your two word phrase. You're gonna enter your two word phrase as a two word phrase. You're going to check your mobile device and it's going to say connect account. It should show the account name and uh, the service that you're using and you added it and then you're set. So now we're going to log out and now we're going to log in again with multi-factor authentication. I got the notice. I'm going to click approve. So exciting. Yeah, that did it. Ah, okay, lightning login. That looks cool. Remind me later. I'm going to go back here and check challenge to earn 500 points.